Charles Frazier's lively new book Verena, Echo, 353 pp. From 4, arrives in an improbable if intriguing moment. Frazier resurrects and reimagines an obscure historical figure, the wife of Confederate President Jefferson Davis, in a period when statues of Confederate heroes are being toppled one by one, with Jeff Davis as among them. So ably does Frazier bring indomitable Verena Howell Davis to life that I couldn't help but imagine her reaction if she'd been around to see her husband's bronze likeness ignominiously hauled away. She'd consider it justice, probably. After all, this is a Southern woman who after the Civil War moved to New York to write for newspapers and declared that the right side won. Frazier's novel is the latest to star a worthy female figure rescued from history's dustbin. And Frazier is a superb prose stylist who elevates the historical fiction genre, his 1997 debut, Cold Mountain, the tale of a Confederate deserter trying to get home to the woman he loves, won the National Book Award. Photo, Yolanda M. James USA Today Network. Sometimes Frazier's considerable literary talents get in his way. His writing can be breathtaking, but Verena's fragmented narrative hopscotches all over the place. Which is a shame, because this picaresque novel's most memorable scenes rival Gone with the Wind, and Cold Mountain, for sheer jaw-dropping Dixie drama. As Verena begins, it's 1906 in Saratoga Springs, New York, and the elderly Verena, called V here, has a visitor, a black man named James Blake, a school teacher. James believes he was once Jimmy Limber, the little, real-life, boy rescued and briefly raised by Verena, after she saw him being beaten in the street. The last time they were together it was 1865 and V and Jimmy and her brood of children were on the run after the Confederacy fell. So V begins filling in the blanks for James, telling the story of her life, and it's irresistible. V has a Scarlet O'Hara ferocity that she tempers with occasional opiates. She's a smart, well-read 17-year-old Mississippi girl when she's shipped off to meet older widower Jeff Davis, a military man headed for Congress. Their marriage gets off to an appropriately gloomy start, Jeff takes his new bride to visit his late wife's grave on their honeymoon. Jefferson Davis slips in and out of Verena, in almost ghostly presence. He and his wife had six children, but often lived apart. He is much more a defender of the Confederacy than his wife, and believes slavery more benign and justified than northern child-fueled factories. Slavery flows like a deep current through Verena. Frazier, a North Carolina native, tackles the topic in shades of gray, not simple black and white. Verena has darkish skin, and in Richmond they gossip that she may be mulatto or a squaw, which she is not. And the grown, dignified James wonders if Jefferson let V keep him only because he was so light-skinned. V has never made any claim of personal high ground. She grew up ruined when she did. From earliest memory, owning other people was a given. But she began feeling the strangeness of it about 9 or 10, not the wrongness or the sin of it, but the strangeness only. In 2018, such paragraphs, however subtle, can land uneasily. Verena the character is a fictional triumph, and after all, the real Mrs. Davis saved Jimmy, Verena the book is more problematic. The Civil War continues to hunt. Yeah.